Hello, Algebra 2 students. This is a lecture on section 4.9. And the part of 4.9 that we are covering is about graphing quadratic inequalities. Now, you guys have already graphed quadratics in sections 4.1 and 4.2. You guys know that these quadratic equations look like uh, U-shaped graphs, like this. Or might be an upside down U-shaped graph, like this. You guys should also know how to graph these quadratic inequalities, whether they are in standard form, or vertex form, or intercept form. We covered all three of those sections in 4.1 and 4.2. Uh, the difference here is we're not going to have an equal sign. We're going to have inequalities instead. And you guys should know a bit about graphing inequalities. You guys should know that this, if it was like this here, it would be a dashed line, and this one would be a solid line. Uh, because if it, is, it has an or equal to, it's a solid line, and if it does not, it is a dotted line. So this one would be dotted, and this one would be solid. From our sections on graphing inequalities, you also learned how to identify which region to shade. And one of the shortcuts that I taught you is that if y is alone and on the left, then if it's a greater than sign, you shade above. And if it's a greater than, why is it, again, alone and on the left, and it's greater than, so you would shade above. If y is alone and on the left, you'd shade underneath. If it was a less than sign, this one as well is a less than sign. So this one you would shade underneath. So those same ideas are going to hold true from those previous sections. And in 4.1 and 4.2, I've made you be very detailed when you were graphing your inequalities. Okay, I made you f identify the axis of symmetry. I made you identify the vertex. I am not going to require you to be so specific when you're graphing them in inequality form. Basically, what I'm going to be looking for is to make sure that you have the right line uh, graphed or right parabola graphed. Then you are going to decide which part to shade and make sure that you have a solid or da dashed line appropriately. So here's an example. You guys absolutely should be able to tell this line's axis of symmetry. You should absolutely be able to tell this line's uh, vertex and domain and range and all that stuff. But in section 4.9, I'm mostly just interested in you being able to graph this inequality. So the fastest, easiest way for you to do this is to utilize your graphing calculator and to type it in there. Why, remember, you're going to pretend like it's an equal sign. I know it says greater than, but pretend like it's an equal sign, and you're going to type it in here. x squared plus 3x minus 4. If you wanted to look at it, you would push graph. Oh, pretty, very nice. Um, but don't just look at this and try to you know, approximate it here. Instead, push second table and get the points. Remember the scrolls. Looks like we've got negative 5. 6, negative 5, 6 would be up here, negative 4, 0, negative 3, negative 4, negative 2, negative 6, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 4, 2, 6, 1, 0. Okay. So I'm going to play connect the dots here in a second. I have to decide if I want to connect them with a dotted line or a solid line. And this one would be a dotted line. Boom, 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 boom. Same over here. And then you're going to decide whether you should shade above this line, which would be inside of it, or underneath it, which would be outside of it. Right? If you just pick a point, above it would be this direction, and below it would be this direction. This one says y is greater than, so you'd shade above, bringing you to shade this part. Of your inequality. You are also going to, at times, graph a system of inequalities. This one would be multiple inequalities. All you would do to do this part would be to once again type in, I think it's easiest to type in one of them, but your calculator can certainly handle both of them at a time. Push second table and you could plot this first one. Um, negative 3, negative 5 would be a point. Negative 3, negative 5 would be here. Negative 2, 0 would be 
here, negative 1, 3, 0, 4, 2, 0, and 3, negative 5. This one would also be a dotted line. Boom, boom, boom. This says y is less than, so I would shade under it, which would be this direction. So I'm, I haven't shaded yet, but it's going to be that direction. It would be inside of it if I were actually shading it yet. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other inequality. Go ahead and push y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Push graph. That's what it's going to end up looking like, but I'm actually going to push second table to get my points. Negative 2, comma 5. Negative 1, 0. 0, negative 3. 1, negative 4. Negative 3, 0, 5. This one is also a dotted line. And this one is saying y is greater than, so you'd shade above it. Now, ultimately, you're trying to shade the region that is true for both of them. And so what region is above the blue line and below the purple line? Well, that would be the region in between them, right? That would be this guy. And so that's what you'd shade. And that is really the entirety of section 4.9 for us. So if you guys have any questions, please ask. Otherwise, that is section 4.9, which is about graphing quadratic inequalities.